Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, we will explore the Power Apps grid control experience in model-driven Power Apps. We will apply this grid control to views to enhance the experience for the end users. The grid allows inline editing, filtering, sorting, grouping, aggregation, infinite scroll, visual enhancements, and so much more. Plus, with the power of AI agents, we get a smart grid experience. Let's check all of this out in this video. I have a model-driven power app that's configured to show information from a table in Dataverse called Projects. We are currently looking at a view called Active Projects that showcases data from the projects table. Each project has metadata and there is a relationship one is to many between the projects table and the project tasks table. This experience of viewing data uses the classic Power Apps read-only grid control. However, the next evolution of the Power Apps grid control offers a lot more. So let's see how we can transform this view to use the Power Apps grid control. My projects table has different types of columns. One of them is a column of type choice, and the data is coming from a choice set. For each of the choice options, we can define a color associated with the label. The new grid control has an option wherein we can enable these option set colors to be represented on the grid for visual appeal. For my projects table, I will head over to views. I'll pick the view active projects and to use the Power Apps grid control, head over to components add a component, get more components. Here we have the Power Apps grid control. Select it, add it. Now add the Power Apps grid control. The first option we see here is child items. This allows us to show child items from a related table. If you do not want to show that, just simply leave this option as it is. I'll minimize this. Enable editing. Do you want to allow the user to edit the values directly from the grid experience? I'll say yes. Disable editing in child items grid. By default, it's set to no. To not allow the user to edit the child items, you can change this to yes. Enable filtering, sorting. Both of these, I'll say yes. Enable grouping. Users can organize tabular data in interesting ways by grouping the data based on a single column. I'll turn this to yes. Enable aggregation. Users can surface meaningful insights from their data if this feature is enabled. So I'll turn it on. Allow column reordering. This allows the user to reorder the columns directly in the view. I'll say yes. Do you want to enable multi-selection? Yes. Allow range selection. This allows the user to simply copy data from the grid and paste it in other applications like Excel. Enable jump bar. This property can be used to display an alphabetical list at the bottom of views or subgrids. I'll set this to yes for now. Enable pagination. By default, this is off. It provides a modern data browsing experience, basically an infinite scroll experience for the user. Enable option set colors. The choice label colors that you define, that can be represented on the grid for visual appeal. Row status icons. This shows whether users see status icons as they are editing the grid. For example, they make a change, saving is in progress. Once the data is saved, the icon will change. 
reflow behavior the grid is responsive by design reflow meaning depending upon the real estate available on the screen it will automatically change its behavior to a grid experience or a list experience there are other customization options available as well i would like to show this component on web mobile and tablet i'll click done that's my grid control i'll click save and i will go ahead and save and publish my view back to my model driven power app i'll refresh once my browser cache is cleared you can see the refreshed experience choice column those colors that i set they are being represented right here inline editing change this to in progress saved i can also see the data types of the columns i can reorder the columns in the view infinite scroll group by project status aggregation budget i'll show the average so right at the bottom i see the total average if you are grouping and there is aggregation for each group heading it will show the aggregation value as well i can sort filter multi select let's edit these i will change their end dates to november 1st done remove the filter the jump bar gives me that alphabetical list at the bottom so for example if i select e it will list out all the projects whose names begin with the letter e range selection i can simply select a range of data copy in excel control v just like that i can copy and paste data fully responsive in nature notice how based upon the real estate available it turns from a grid view to a list view thanks to that reflow property now let's try and show the child items through my related table of project tasks my project task table has a lookup column to my project table this creates a many is to one relationship many tasks are related to one project my projects table view active projects back to editing that view experience components power apps grid control edit now let's also set child items table i'll pick project tasks from that table i'll pick the active project tasks view child items parent id what is the column in the project tasks table that is looking up to my projects table and in my case that lookup column is called project that's the setup needed i'll click done save save and publish back to my model driven power app i'll clear my cache and refresh my power apps grid control shows my projects plus if i click on this icon it will open the related tasks for each of those projects all the sorting filtering grouping aggregation options still apply filter where the project status is in progress now it's only showing those projects that are in progress and within them it shows the related tasks for those projects smart grid as an administrator if i head over to my environment settings and go to features we have a feature called natural language grid and view search i'll enable this for all users immediately now if i head over to my active projects view i get the scopilot agent that allows me to filter 
my data in this view by simply describing what I need in natural language. If I select this, the Copilot agent gives me certain suggestions. Show me the projects where the start date is on or before 1-6-2025. If I select this, it goes and applies the filter to refine the data in the grid. I can see the exact filters the smart grid has applied. Now at this point, this is a view that Copilot just created temporarily. It is not yet saved. If you would like to save this, we need to ensure that we save this as a new view. I'll click save. And this will create it as a personal view that I can select and see the data in action. Projects where project manager is Reza and status is completed and budget is less than 150. Okay. Copilot springs into action, applies the filters. You can see the applied filters on the top. If I would like to remove certain filter criteria, I can easily remove them. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.